southeast of Madison after a number of crashes. And that includes one that sent several people to the hospital this afternoon and just yesterday another one less than a mile down the road. Our Madeline O'Neill in the news center tonight with a closer look. Maddie? Eric and Charlotte, the crash shut down northbound lanes for several hours today as emergency responders worked to clear the scene outside McFarland and Stoughton. While we were there, many area residents stopped by to tell us crashes happen in that part of the interstate all the time. Not surprised. For Beverly Davis and her two dogs, walking this road overlooking Interstate 39 is a daily occurrence. Every day. <laughs> and she says so is something else. There's a crash every day. <laughs> it's just normal since the, the construction. She goes out of her way to avoid the highway. Well, I take the back roads. <laughs> and suggests other drivers do the same. It is an amazing sight when you look down the road and you see cars for miles, as far as you can see, just sitting still. It's a sight you can see here this afternoon when a crash involving several cars near mile marker 149 closed northbound lanes for nearly three hours. The problem is if you get stuck in it, you're stuck. Also similar to what drivers saw yesterday morning after a multiple vehicle crash about a mile away and another crash a few miles away Saturday morning. According to the Wisconsin State Patrol, today's crash involved seven vehicles, including three semi-trucks. In a release, the State Patrol says the vehicles weren't able to stop in time and ran into each other while approaching the initial crash. Six people were taken to the hospital. That is dangerous. As construction continues, Davis will be sticking to the side roads. I'm not driving on it for now, not until it gets a little safer. Northbound lanes were closed from about 12.30 this afternoon to 3.15. According to the State Patrol, those who went to the hospital have non-life-threatening injuries. Madeline O'Neill in our news center tonight. Maddie, thank you. The Janesville Police Department